A oh, good three points taken there today and for someone just watching the match, an entertaining match, but you'd, you'd want a wee bit more from your team. Yeah, I was a wee bit disappointed, especially first half performance. I don't think it was a great game overall, uh, first half. I thought both teams, <laughs> thought both teams um, struggled, I think. The wind was playing its part, which was spoiling it a little bit for both teams, but it wasn't great, uh, to be honest with you, but second half livened up. Livened up. We scored a great goal, don't get me wrong, it was probably the only real passage you play that we had. Six, seven good passes, which wins the corner up the other end, quality delivery and wonderful, wonderful header from Anton, which is great. Um, but second half was a lot more lively, and especially the start of the second half, we got right on the front foot a little bit more, a little bit more energetic, pressed them a little bit higher. Whether that's because we had the wind at our back, I'm not sure. Um, but so pleased with... Uh, my back four and the two central midfielders as a defensive unit because at times we did have to defend and stand up to it and get blocks in and save Robbie from making saves. But overall, Callum, listen, it's been a long time coming for these supporters and getting a home win. So getting three points at home is different class and getting a clean sheet was different class. You were talking about Robbie there. He had a couple of marvellous saves in that first half you, and you did keep the ball away from him as mm. well. Mm. But we were all surprised of the way you changed the team around a bit today. Yeah, I just think there was... One or two aspects um, that, again, standards have been set so high. If you're one or two players, we just need a little bit more energy uh, of things. And um, and credit to the lads that came in. They all played their part really, really well. So um, delighted with that. Uh, obviously disappointed for the lads that have missed out this week. But listen, we've got three points. Um, we're up to sixth. We're four points off the playoffs. We're right in the mix. We understand how tight this league is. Now, you had a, an injury there to Jamie Murphy. Um, any yeah, feedback? It's a twinge in his hamstring. We're hopeful that it's nothing too serious. So, um, whether or not he's going to be available for selection next week against Wraith, we shall bide our time. Um, we're hopeful that he will be. But again, uh, it'll only be sort of Monday. By the time it settles down, we get a real sort of feel for exactly um, where we are with that sort of situation. So, and very strange to see uh, Sean go down for such a wee while there because uh, we don't expect Sean to even. I didn't even the ground. know what was wrong with him, to be honest with you. I never even asked the physio because I just knew he'd get up and get on with it. Um, again, he and Frankie were immense in the middle of the park. I thought they were immense last week. I thought Ben and Jack uh, worked great in the middle of the park, were excellent to help support the forwards up the up the pitch. Um, and I thought, Alicia, that's possibly Alicia's best game because the young boy McStravick is a handful for anybody in this league. And I thought Alicia did well when he came on up at Dundee United last week as well. And it's, it's a shame for Paddy because he just he sets his standards so high that even when he plays that well, you sort of just take it for granted. And uh, I believe he got man of the match, so credit. Somebody else has seen his, his positive. But it was nice to see also Paul Smith must have given you food for thought <laughs> that last period of time just when he came on. And he was outstanding. He's had a horrible little niggle in his knee uh, at times over the last couple of weeks. So he comes on, it gives you a little bit of energy, does great. And he was just, it was such a shame he never got reward for his... Uh, for his uh, endeavours with that with that lob of the goalkeeper because it's a great piece of inventive play. We see it, we saw it was on, but sometimes as players in the heat at the moment you just don't realise it. But fair play to the kid, he went for it and it was just he just caught the wind a little bit and shoved it past the post, which was a shame. But Logan Chalmers also had one where he cut inside and curled one, which was heading towards the top corner as well. Um, but we've had to defend our goal quite quite resolutely at times as well. So there's there's credit on both teams for having a bit of a go at the game. You could uh, feel it as well. You've been saying that sometimes you need to get that uh, Somerset Road end rocking, and at the end there, they pulled you towards that target. Ah, they were brilliant. They were brilliant. And listen, we've been on a up and down run, and we're still on an up and down run, even off the back of that win. We'd love to get a little bit more consistency, of course. Um, and the fan base have stuck with the boys. Uh, they've been brilliant, and it was just nice to give them that uh, that three points to to head home. Uh, not in an away game, in a home game. Um, and we need to try try and turn this place into a little bit of a fortress. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but we need to do better at home. Um, and that's just a small step in that direction. 